far as tools are concerned. You just need a Phillips screwdriver, a T30 Torx, 8mm or 5 16 socket. So take a uh, small Phillips screwdriver and you're going to want to take off all four of these uh, screws and remove this uh, little header plate. These pretty much just unscrew to about this point and then you can lift them out and then pull this other piece out behind it. Next go ahead and remove this uh, trim piece. Set it aside. And next we're going to be going after these 5 16 bolts. Um, 8 millimeter will also work. And then a T30 Torx right here. It's not too critical but uh, it's best to break this one loose and not take it out all the way. Remove these three all the way first and then take that one out last. Okay, so I just removed all three of these bolts, including the fourth uh, T30 Torx, and just sent this whole assembly. I've kind of put it off to the side here, and uh, here's what we're left with. You want to make sure that this stays in place for sure. This will be a good opportunity also to clean this all up if you're a neat freak like myself. All right, that looks a lot better, nice and clean now. I don't think you'll find a cleaner hood latch anywhere else right now. Okay, so now I'm just lining this uh, T30 Torx back up and then I'll install those other bolts. So I was very careful to align this and make sure that the bolt went through the washer and into that uh, little retention clip. And I'm not tightening it down all the way yet. I'm going to put these other ones in and uh, line everything up before we tighten it all down. Okay, everything's been reinstalled um, pretty much just snug for now. We're going to test it, put these three back in, and then that torques. Make one last pass through here, make sure that everything's good and tight, then put the little cover back on, and you should be done. So here's the test right here. I'll lift the hood just barely up so it's not too high off and give it a little drop. And it closes right up. Okay, now just replace this uh, trim piece right here. And tighten down the screws and you're done. With these little guys, you want to pinch the bottom of them together, put it in, and then put the little screw in. Just make sure as you're driving down the freeway that it's not bouncing all around. Make sure that you can hear it uh, lock when you're done closing it. And it's still locked.